The Return to Dawn of Sorrow Max. Bulky Skeleton the Stud. I have no expectations for this. Safe to say it will probably be a rough going. Oh my god, it's Panther. Actually, you know what that boy? Not bad. <laughs> Is this the setting where you can eat newspapers? Exactly. Every item is valuable, because every item could be, uh, any consumable at least, could be big healing or big MP gain. This is the saddest thing I have ever seen. Okay, that's actually perfect. This is like a damage boost puzzle. <laughs> Getting carried by Boyer right now. Why is this happening? Aw, oh, jeez. Uh, I got Cure's Poison. I just, like, can't win this. <laughs> okay. There's gotta be something down here. There's got to be something down here. Quetzalcoatl, don't even think about it. Oh my god, it's a warp. Okay, okay. Oh, I've got 23 HP. And this is not looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and warp back here so I can at least keep the experience I picked up. I think this is the right call. Wait, I'm supposed to damage boost here. Well, now, now it's a problem. <laughs> My defense is too good. Nice. That went worse than last time. Yeah, when it comes to Dawn of Sorrow, there is no level 1. But there is a patch you can apply separately. And level 1, not in Max Randomizer. The Max Randomizer level 1 would be just masochistic. But for the vanilla game, it's honestly a surprisingly good fit. You gotta know the game pretty well, but that's true for other level 1 settings as well, so... Uh, this is almost always nothing down here. That's a good slime, I'll try and hold on to it. Hello, Venna. Medusa slum, yeah, that looks sick. Oh, that looks kind of sick. I'll take that cross. That's a cheap cross. Okay, hang on, this might be the carry here. Oh, let's go! What even is that? I, th I think it's Devil. It's got quite an unusual hitbox. I leveled up again, might as well go back. The mission is still survive and escape.
Hang on, weapon. Throwing sickle. 39 attack! Oh my god! <laughs> it's like a roguelike where you farm the first area to get a lot of top tier stuff and the rest of the game is easy. That's what this is. Beautiful. Alright, this is the uh, wrong one. I've got to go to the left. It's gonna be nothing up there. I'm out. I'm free. Oh no, it's a boss. Okay, hopefully optional. Hey, guess what? I'm warping all the way back. Isn't that nice? We're making some incremental progress. Another level up? Sure. I'm up to 11. Try it, Yeti, for like one second here. I can't even see what Yeti is. Alright, invisible snowball. Please tell me this is healing. Subtracts 426. It's vanilla spoiled milk. Basically. I'm going for the boss. Um, this with no flight, no double jump, and like no defense is gonna be hard. Oh, not too bad, hopefully. That's good, so now I can get back here relatively easily. Show me Panther. I good. <laughs> I've gotten this exact sprite shuffle before. This is the rocket pack flying armor. 
This would be perfect for Panther. Can I make this with flying armor? I should be able to. Yeah. I'm stuck down there, so I gotta reload. Another boss. This one is probably going to be tougher. Oh yeah, this is the paranoia equivalent. Not bad. My trackpad got stuck, I had to speedrun the rest of that seal. If you look at the flames in the background, that was the last possible flame. Hello, Cedric. Let's try out war. Well, that's expensive. Oh, it's bad. Nice save. I'm up to level 17. 12 minutes in. Oh my god, three blocked exits. Healing. Finally. Thank you, Milk. I got some kind of a lifeline. Normally you start with some healing. I mean, potions are often randomized to be beneficial. This has been an especially brutal start. Zombie killer clown, I've got neither of these. All the way back. You know what, it's quicker to reload. Quicker to reload. Skellerang is definitely one of the yellows I'm most interested in right now. I can basically just double my DPS. Yeah, backdash hops are faster than walking. Not by as much as in Arya, but they are faster. I'm getting just walled here. Might have to use my milk. Yeah, let's go for it. Oh wait, I lost my milk! 
That's right, it was part of the dead end. Do I go back to the mill? I don't know. <laughs> what a fall. Yeah, this, this is a pretty typical max, I'd say. Maybe a little tougher than normal. But um, if I can just get like double jump or something, I do have some really nice equipment right now. Ooh. Ooh. Let's go. Now it's a fine, a fine scene. And in fact, I'm gonna do something like this. I should be able to make it to the portion you can actually see on the map. That's the starting area. Okay. New weapon, new accessory. Let's check the accessory first. Oh my god, see, why can't all black belts be like this? Nice plus 22. Y'all okay, take that. And not bad. Good defense. Iframes are fine. Hang on, Katana. Not as good. These iframes are better than vanilla. Oh, it double hits. Okay. Crown, healing. Now uh, we're talking. Now we're moving and grooving. Yeah, no way I can justify Rune Ring. Okay. That's actually, wait, how much int was that? That's a lot of ints. I think this armor is honestly about as good as I'm gonna find for the whole scene. Not even gonna bother checking every little thing. So this might be the shop over here. Hammer, I'm ready to be impressed. What do we got? Uh, kind of expensive healing. Bad, 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 better. Okay, I think we're gonna go with a strength build this time around. Hammer had one good thing, but look at that, 87 attack. You gotta look around the shop for the best deal. Oh my god. I'm OP. Hamburger? No. Nah. Oh, that's big healing. That's a beefy burger. 600. Yeah, very convenient shop warp. Often the shop is kind of isolated on the map. So if I need healing, I can go back pretty quick. That's canister. Double jump. I just for laughs. Let's see how good everything is. Horrendous. Yeah. 
Yo, sick cards. I'm rocking the fish deck. That's pretty nice. Panther. I JJ. JJ. Une Panther. You can see this scene has really grown on me. <laughs> it's really grown on me. <laughs> He's dead. He's dead. Let's go in. Oh! Okay, one time, one time visual glitch, it's fine, not a big deal. All I need for go mode is the talisman. And I'm just, I'm ready to fight Menace right this very second. I mean, I can do this. Oh, doing this with no bats is going to be so awkward. Uh, okay. I got one hand on the D-pad and the L button, the other hand on my mouse. That's working out. No dead end, please. Thank you. I can get some big time experience here if I want. A lot of easy mid game enemy kills. Not bad, but um... Actually, you know what, for now I probably should take this. That's really good defense and the uh, attack difference is not that much. So let's go something like this. For bosses, I'll put on the black belt. I'm not gonna go all the way back around. Oh, I didn't pay attention to luck. Let me take a peek. Oh yeah, it's huge. Plus 33. Oh no, it does matter in the uh, DS Vania randomizer. Luck is fixed here. By default, you can't turn that off. And then the drop rates in the randomizer I'm using, this is the old one, it's like a flat 6% with solely to 3% without. So stuff's gonna come quick. Hey look, there's flight. That could be good. Piano out of service. Yo, Mud Fan! I don't have a rehab yet. This is probably gonna be a reset. How 
Ah, maybe not. Hang on. I got a lot of doors to check out here. Nice tower key. You know, that's probably required. It's like a 50-50. You gotta go to the condemned tower to get to the mine. Like half the time you need that key. So that made this trip very much worth it. Heart Eater is just an impossible enemy. I like barely get down here with the damage boost. No. What's the bat today? It's just bat. That's always vanilla. Nice soul eater. <laughs> soul eater with the strength boost, eh? That's better than black belt. Yeah, all right. All right. Drop rate's just out of control right now. I'm gonna farm this thing. Come on. Sick bugbear. Can I get a single item in here? No. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the right. Top right. You know, I think I kind of want the defense. And the luck boost here... It's plus 3.3% um, on every enemy. So, you know. That's gotta be about as good as a Soul Eater Ring. Maybe even better in some cases. Max All Souls, I do wanna try one day. You know, maybe that's a good one for uh, next Sunday. Make a note. If not Sunday, then maybe just the following Sunday. garden. Uh, no side of the talisman yet. Oh, apparently this rapier on top of everything else also curses enemies. Sick Abaddon. It's a pretty good guy, Bon. 
All right, we're gonna use that for boss fights. Uh, it's not Chrono. The idea would be you just try your best to get all souls. Or maybe you could do something where it's max except that enemies are vanilla. In fact, I like I think I like that idea better. And that should make it close to guaranteed. Sometimes with the map rando, areas get truncated. So like maybe the walk walk tree room gets removed, but I'm willing to take that chance. And even if that happens, that soul might be in a canister somewhere else. is good. In fact, I think I'll put that on. Not using my reds much anyway. Yeah, let's go for the boss. It's Rayhab, that's fine though. I'm overpowered. This will be easy. Oh, Gaibon is insane! What's up with all the multi hits? Everything's doing multi hits. I guess we'll go around. The whole point of speedrunning is to earn bragging rights. I disagree. For me, the point of speedrunning, it's a good way to keep classic games alive. I love the competitive aspects of speedrunning, of course. It is ultimately competitive single player. It's like video game golf. But it's competition in service to keeping these games we all love relevant.
And yet even casual speedrunning, which I think is a very under-discussed aspect of speedrunning. Not all speedruns have to be optimal. Even casual speedrunning is a great way to add replay value. That's it. Okay. I'm surprised that area was such a bust. What's up next? Pizza Tower is an interesting example. That game strongly encourages casual speedrunning. It's built into the way the game is made. I think it does a great job at it. I've still got to actually complete that game myself. Happened again. Yeah, Neon White, I hear really good things about, and it looks so fun to play, unfortunately. I do have to classify it as a cringe game, because of some of the writing. Looks sick, though. Take a look. Bird Gang. Show me a good Bird Gang. Oh, it's bad. Bird Gang gone. If I want to find something new, I'm gonna to have to explore more of the guest house. That's how it's looking. We're getting to the edge of the map here. It's gotta be down below. Finally, I can get these pancakes I saw 20 minutes ago, and there's nothing else in here. Pancake room, all right. Somewhere else then.
10 power needles. Let me take a look. Okay, pop quiz, what sprite is this? Hopefully you all know better than I do, I have no clue. You know, there's a world where this is like an insane nunchuck. Uh, this world is not that world. So I do have Killer Clown, I don't have Zombie. The point I'm trying. Alright, so back to this room. This room killed me before. Time for payback. This is my prize, huh? Okay, Fishman Farm. Let's see what Merman's got. Devil's coming up. There's gotta be something down here. That's a new soul. It's pretty good Uka back. It's cheap. Oh my god! Okay, this thing is absolutely sick. It's going on the boss build. Thank you very much. When you want to play a trap setting character in a fighting game, but you don't want to bother with spacing, that's when you bust out this thing. Imagine if Testament and Guilty Gear could do a little something like that. Hey Arikata, thank you for the lucky charm. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That's also really good. Nice Rahab. No, it's fine. Arikata just letting me know that if I see a charm, it's the real deal. He's already taken care of the bait for me. Isn't that considerate? Thank you very much for the first time, Prime. Please do let me know if I pronounced that incorrectly. But I uh, really appreciate the support. Thank you. Hope you like the emotes. Let's try going up this time. These are always interesting, these boss fights in the Rahab room. Oh, it's Balor! <laughs> uh. 
This is the greatest familiar of all time. Oh, it's a dead end. It's a visually glitched dead end. That might be the worst kind of dead end. how long it took for the boys here to charge up. <laughs> Let's see that again. I, I kind of feel bad. I'd say uh, that's a low roll. Low roll on the attack speed. I think it's time for Talisman. We can sub hour this if the seed cooperates. Oof. Not good. It's alright, still a little bit more to explore. Damn, so it wasn't over here. This whole area was a red herring. So what are my options? There's that zombie we're in. Or the, uh, the zombie wall, rather. In the uh, guest house. But I mean, surely not. What about over here? Keep it nice and simple. Just go to the right. Oh, Zephyr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I find this? Alright, so I might need red soul progression somewhere. Either zombie or zephyr. That's at least, you know, in the list of possibilities. Hopefully not. So clock tower is done. Yeah, there are not a lot of promising leads. I'll tell you what, maybe... Hmm. I'm gonna do a few more checks here at the start. And then I'm gonna head back to garden. soul I need is gonna be in a canister but yeah sometimes these canisters are pretty tough to find could be over here potion all right for fun what are the Yoko options here I've had nothing so far Nice, nice, nice. I had like 20 options to choose from. 
zero required souls. Hmm. All right. Just want to make sure nothing over here. Okay. Okay, there's the cutscene room. It'd be so convenient to find the talisman right here. I'll take this, new area. Exciting. For all the Nebula fans, let's take a look. Ooh, that's uh, worse than normal, I think. I might start focusing on Int just to boost this guy bomb. The greatest familiar I've ever seen. Tear Bear. Gotta give it a look. Looks bad. How are the multi hits? It's terrible. It's the worst thing. Alright, guy on your backup. Nice job. Aha, okay. So, you know, guy on, I appreciate it and everything, but um So I'm doing 79, right? On this build, it's 96. Here's Devil. Two, two, two multi hit. This is now officially a strength seed and a Devil seed.
Let's all give a big round of applause for Gaibon. Did a great job. That's everything there. All right, back to, uh... Back to garden? Yeah. Either way, whether it's Somacula or Menace, it's gonna be a slaughter. Although I'm not sure, what is this Devil Sprite? I think that's a uh, Flame Soul of some kind. Okay, so one more place to check. Hopefully this takes me to tower. Okay, okay, okay. You know, while I'm here, let's quickly look for a tower entrance. I think it's got to be somewhere around here. Hey, I found it, and hey, that tower key that was off on its own somewhere that was required just to get in. This time around, it was the uh, the front door. I really hope I see the boss. I want to fight the boss. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my god, and Dimitri was hoarding double jump. Alright, this is, uh, this is insane. This is the strongest Asoma has ever been. Find the warp, and we'll wrap this one up. Time for a quick speedrun. Although we'll see if chat can provide good directions today. Remember, for Max, it has been a while, so as a reminder, chat decides on which route I take in the abyss. Excuse me. I thought it was my dance partner. I was betrayed. Uh, warp? Is there just not a warp this time around? Hmm, yeah, I guess not. No warp. Okay. No, I'm thinking out loud here, but you know it'd be pretty nice if we ever get a big update to this randomizer at some point. Unlikely, but possible. I think it'd be nice for this cutscene right here 
to have a degree of randomization to it. Maybe Dimitri's sprite is randomized. Maybe it's just some mystery character. Maybe it's Alucard. Maybe it's Hammer. You never know. Maybe the dialogue specifically right here is semi-randomized. I think it's got a lot of potential. This cutscene has taken on a life of its own. Yeah, apparently this is written in Ruby, Gosden. And unlike a lot of coding languages, which I'm really proficient in, I've never done work on Ruby before, so I can't help, sadly. But best of luck. I think my overall best coding language is probably Excel. I'm also pretty good with Word, and I've done a little bit with PowerPoints. Unless this was... where was this? Here we go. Okay, I think now's the time. I'll do one final check of my equipment. We're gonna buff this strength stat all the way up. Let me just find the boss door. Here we go. Alright, so. 105. Alright, that's solely during. Yeah. That's going on. Nothing better here, not a huge surprise. Nothing comes close. Maybe this thing has iframes that are equal to the rapier. I doubt it. Nah. I think he's almost dead. Okay, Chad, get ready. And for this build, I want as much defense as possible. Yo, Sherman. Sherman coming in with a 93 defense. That's good. No, no preemptive votes. Let's ban. Alright, I'll save. Left might not even be an option. Well, they really got timed out for early votes. It was a joke. Oh 
my god, let me in. Oh my god, where's the entrance? It's gonna be all the way back at the start. Yeah, no, it definitely is. <laughs> okay, we're in. Options are left to right. First to three. Left, all right. Now I'm gonna put a break in the chat. Up or down? Up, okay. Sub 70 on the line here. Well, at least it was a quick dead end, so we're going down next. Chat currently either 0 for 2 or 1 for 2. Alright, alright. <laughs> Left or right? Wonder what's gonna win. Left or right? Come on, let's skip the boss. Let's skip the boss. Oh well. Alright. Well, it's just like Vanilla Malphus doesn't even get off the ground. One of my favorite YouTube comments. I mentioned in a video that Malphus is a grounded boss. <laughs> the comments like, wait a minute. Malphus isn't a grounded boss. Oh wait, yes it is. If you have a good weapon, yeah, Malphus doesn't last more than eight or nine seconds. Yeah, it's definitely grounded. So if this is not it, okay, nice job. I want to give a big shout out to chat. For just being completely and utterly wrong. Okay, good job. It always happens. I think sub 70 is dead. If it's so Macula, it might actually be possible, if it's like right here. Nah, it's dead. And look, it's nice and linear here. Yeah, no chance. But here we go, gonna be a quick one. Remember, it's 3,000 HP per core, which is normally a lot. This is considered a very bulky boss. Didn't I have that one weapon that was a little bit stronger? Oh, that's horrendous, here we go. Oh god, it's all so bad. Alright, we're going back to the uh, right here. Oh my god, space jump for Menace. I never considered this before. It's actually so good. 
Look at the damage. It's over! Shoutouts to Samus. I can't believe how good that tech is. I see, I'm never gonna be that overpowered ever again. Despite the miserable start, ended up being an incredible match. 